if you're not using keyboard shortcuts in Excel, you're not really living. So let me show you some of my favorites and generally how you can go about finding the shortcuts that you need to use in your own setup and workflow. Uh, first of all, what we have here, this is just a very basic spreadsheet. I've got some sample data, some mock data that I generated just to give us something in the cells that we can work with. And if you will press your Alt key, you'll see that up here in the ribbon, we have all these yellow boxes that pop up with different letters and numbers in them. And this just corresponds to the shortcut sequences that you can press to do basically anything up there in the ribbon. So if you need to go to the data tab, you hit the A button. If you need to go to queries and connections, you hit the O button, it pops open queries and connections, so forth and so on. If you were doing that and you didn't mean to go in the data tab, you can hit the escape key and go back. So it basically deletes the last keystroke that you just entered. Let's go to the insert tab and M1 will give us some smart art. So we can insert a smart art graphic just like that. And I'm going to do it just because I want to. And now I'm going to delete it because I don't actually need it in my workbook. Okay, so that's the premise of alt shortcut sequences, where you can do some real complicated sequences and really save a lot of time by not using the mouse. We've got the basic shortcuts too. So I'm going to start with one of those that you're going to use a lot if you don't already. It's control T, create a table. So this, if you already have your cursor, as I do, anywhere in the data range right here, it's going to automatically highlight where it thinks that data is, and it's pretty darn smart. My table has headers. You can select that on or off, and there we go. We have a table. Now, what if we want a pivot table to do some more manipulation of data? For that, we use a sequence of keystrokes that you are going to learn if you haven't already. So all you got to do is press Alt N V T and that will take us to create a pivot table from table or range. I'm going to throw this in our existing workbook over here in H1. Click enter, press OK. There we go. Now, this is one of my favorites and it really took me a long time to learn it. Auto fit column width. What does that mean? Well, see over here, I've got this column D with email addresses. Well, they're, they're kind of getting clipped off. If you double click up here on the boundary line, it'll resize it so that it is the width of the longest cell. So if you scroll down, you'll see a cell, man, probably this one right here. That's probably the longest email address. And so it auto sizes it to fit that one. However, if we click the columns up here and drag and hold across all of them and then use a keyboard shortcut, Alt H O I, it will auto fit all of those columns all in one fell swoop, saving a lot of time. Okay, what about formatting? Control one is the fastest way to access the format cells box, but as with a lot of these, there's more than one way. You could do Alt H F M and get to the same place. Control one's your best shot though. All right, what about centering cell contents? Well, we've got Alt H A C, that'll get it over into the horizontal center position and then Alt H A M will get it vertically centered. Let's say we need a quick highlight color right here. Alt H H quickly opens up the highlight menu and you can uh, cursor over to whatever color you want to use. Oftentimes, because you have to cursor over, uh, if you want to select a specific color, I'll just use the mouse after I've got that opened. Let's put a formula in a cell over here. We got one, one, and then we're going to go equals G3 plus G4. Now, what if I want to just drag this down? Well, I can. I can click down here in the bottom right corner and it'll drag that formula down. You may be familiar with this if you've used spreadsheets at all, but what you might not know is that if you highlight the cell and then you shift click down here and click control D, it will automatically fill. And then I'll do alt H O I to auto fit those columns and it'll automatically fill that formula all the way down to wherever you had it highlighted. This video is brought to you by this guy. My free weekly newsletter guy sheet is linked in the description below. If you want to get good at spreadsheets, check it out. Tell me what you think. All right, I know what you're thinking because I've been thinking it since we started this sheet. Why do we still have the grid lines turned on? Well, we can quickly get rid of them. Alt W V G. Boom, show grid lines off. And if for some reason we need to turn them back on, same command will bring them back on, but we're gonna leave them off. All right, what if you've got a ton of complex formulas and you need to look around at the formulas or functions that are written in the cells? 
There's a quick way to toggle those on or off. It's control tilde. That's the button that is right to the left of the one key on the top left of your keyboard. And look at this, it'll show you all the functions that are in the cells here. I'm gonna turn that back off. Then we've got several navigation functions. So if you hold the control button and press the end key, it'll go all the way down here to row 101 because that's the last place where I have, or it's the last row where I have contents in my cell. And then it'll go all the way to L101 because up here in L, I've got this pivot table. That's the farthest right in this workbook that I've got data. If I click control home, it'll take me to the far upper left hand corner, the beginning of where I have data in my workbook. Same thing, you can navigate quickly using the arrow keys by holding down the control button. It'll go all the way to the right. If I click control right here, it goes all the way to the end of the workbook. But if I click control left, it'll go to the next cell with anything in it in that row. And same thing by pressing down or up, it'll go to the last cell with contents in it or all the way down or to the next piece of content if I click back up. The arrow keys, the home key, the end key with control, very fast way to navigate around the spreadsheet. This one was kind of a new one to me. If you're up here in this table, you know how you have filters here in the top row? Well, there's actually a shortcut to clicking those. You can press the Alt Down key and it'll open up the auto filter menu whereby you can select sorting or filtering options. In order to put a slicer in your spreadsheet real quickly, let's go into our table where we've got our data and we click Alt N SF. That'll open up the insert slicer menu and we can just click a state slicer right there and we'll put it over here and then we can just toggle on and off states. We can do the multiple select so I can do multiple states selected here, so forth and so on. Now we all know that a spreadsheet is pretty worthless without some checkboxes in it. So let's insert those Alt N C B will insert a checkbox and then I'll do Alt H A M to vertically center it. And you can actually toggle it on and off with the space bar or we can come up here and go Alt H F C that's for font color. And we can just scroll down here and let's make it a blue checkbox. How about that? Let's do one more, shall we? We didn't touch on charts yet, but it's inserted in the same way. Alt N will take us to the insert menu. And then if you press R, we've got the recommended charts menu where it will recommend what it thinks you might want based on your data. You can select all charts from this insert chart full menu, or alternatively, we could do Alt N. And we've got some shortcuts to specific charts. C1 will take us to the column chart menu. N1 will take us to the line chart. SA will take us to histograms, so forth and so on. All those options are up here in the middle with the corresponding letters and or numbers. Okay, let's put a pie chart here. Didn't work because it's not really good data for it. If you like this video, I know you will like this next one about finding values inside of your spreadsheet. I go through the process of several ways to do this, including making a dynamic search bar that's pretty sweet. Click here.